Hosanna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today we are going to start looking at a verse which I think has uh, the most number of sermons on uh, the letter to the Philippians. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10. Very often uh, this verse is used by many preachers uh, as they uh, give out uh, New Year's sermons. And I want you to listen to this uh, scripture. Philippians 3.10. And even uh, before I uh, read it, I want to title it. The threefold ambition of the Apostle Paul. The word ambition is not a bad word. Ambition is a good word, provided what we are ambitious about. The threefold ambition. Now let me read the verse. Philippians 3.10 I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. The first ambition that the Apostle Paul had was, I want to know Christ more and more. Some 30 years after his conversion, <laughs> Paul is uh, telling us that he is ambitious to know the Lord more and more. We would look at the Apostle and say, but Paul, you have walked with the Lord for over 30 years. And you have known the Lord. What more is there to know of him? And Paul would say, there is so much more that I need to know, to learn, and to experience about my Lord. And that should always be the what defines your life and my life. That we want to know him more and more. My determined purpose is that I may know him, that I may progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him, perceiving and recognizing and understanding the wonders of his person more strongly and more clearly. Did you hear that phrase, the wonders of his person. And you and I can never exhaust the wonders of the person of the Lord Jesus. What we know is so little. There is so much more that we need to know about our wonderful Lord. And uh, it, this is the heartbeat of the godly person. And how does this come about? As he contemplates the Lord in the awesomeness of his infinite majesty, power and holiness, and as he dwells upon the riches of his mercy and grace poured out at Calvary, his heart is captivated by this one who could love him so. There are two C words I would like to highlight in that uh, paragraph that I read to you. Contemplation leads to captivation. Please write it down somewhere. Contemplation leads to captivation. The more I contemplate on the person of the Lord Jesus, the glory of the Lord Jesus, the more I'm going to be captivated by him. One sad reason why today the Lord doesn't hold fascination for many a Christian is because we are not contemplating on the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. That contemplation occurs when we open the Bible we read and we start meditating and the Holy Spirit opens up our eyes to see the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ beyond the written page of Scripture. 
Now can you see why there is a battle? Satan knows that. And that is why he would prefer your Bible to be a closed book. And even if you do open it, you and I just rush through some reading and duty done and we go about our business. But sadly, there is no fascination for the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So again, let me repeat. It is contemplation that leads to captivation. Captivated by the glory of the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you and I need to make a resolution today that we are going to contemplate in order to be captivated. God give us grace to do so. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.